after a nice hiatus, welcome everybody to South Park The Fractured Butthole, the sequel to South Park The Stick of Truth. And let me let you in on a little spoiler alert, no you do not take on Al Gore. Of course, the moment you see the Ubisoft logo, you probably will have your heart sink because it's probably got some very interesting stuff locked under DLC, which is the case with most Ubisoft games. But this game is actually pretty damn good. Now, unlike South Park The Stick of Truth, Fractured But Whole is more of the superhero Civil War as opposed to the Dungeons and Dragons playthrough that we did in the last game. By the way, for those of you who are interested in seeing it, South Park The Stick of Truth is also on my channel. And there's also a completed playthrough of that too. So, with this, there's at least some more customization than what there was in S Stick of Truth. But for the most part, at least you have the option of changing up your character the way you want. But before we do that, we got ourselves a cutscene, which by the way, if you skip for any reason, you'll be back at the opening credits. Just warning you right now. So as soon as we get through all of the introductions here, we'll just go on ahead and let Cartman take it from here. What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of control, cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get off my car, you little hacker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. A new king united a kingdom, torn apart by a powerful stick. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find his cat. And in doing so, perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. The funny part is, not that many people actually caught on to the joke. But yeah, the way it's spelled, Trey Parker and Matt Stone literally got away with putting butthole in the title of a game. Anyway... <clears throat> While that is an anagram, something like that really does happen later on in the game. But for right now, I've decided to change my character's look this time around and <clears throat> make the character, mm, I think, lavender hair. That would do just fine. Well, there's a reason for that. I promise you there's a reason. But there's something else that's kind of hilarious, actually. Well, also, I could actually change up my eyewear at the beginning, like, like before. But here's the thing. Unlike before, um, you can't really change your clothes. Well, your civilian clothes. This is basically your uh, default clothes before you actually put on a superhero outfit. So that's something that cannot be changed. Something that South Park The Stick of Truth actually did change. Oh, and don't even worry about the difficulty part. That's just making a play on the social justice don't warriors worry, and how they just say that it's difficult to be that. one race and it's not difficult to be another. And just for the record, PC Principal is there, just to let you know. Take it! 
to the king! Ah! Sellers, they got the base! You gotta stop him! Bicycle Their armor is too strong! They're wearing bicycle helmets! Where is the king? Okay, I'll try not to talk too much over the cutscenes, but yeah. As you can see in the right hand corner, I managed to get a Ubisoft Rewards account. It's free to log on to, but you know the whole deal. But anyway, what I'm doing is a toilet mini game. If you actually match the movements, you will be able to, well, get a good experience points for it. But also, you can't actually use those things as weapons. We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> yeah. They're arguing and stuff, but here's the thing. Oh, before I even get into that, Towley is a DLC. Fuck Towley. Anyway, <clears throat> they're arguing and stuff, and here's the problem. While they're arguing, they are the ones that actually told you to go out and make friends in the first game. Oh, and by the way, I'm not even actually harping on all the stuff I just pulled out. That actually came from uh, the Ubisoft Rewards. So yeah, you actually start off with $3.50 and a lot of stuff, provided you get a lot of achievements that unlock Ubisoft Reward Points. So that would explain that. But, <clears throat> your parents are over here fighting and arguing because of the events that happened last part. And that just so happens to be the fact that Doverkeen was found out by the government. And the government tried to use him and the Stick of Truth for his, well, evil plans. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. My lord, the filthy Moorish are attempting to overtake Koopa Keep. You gotta come back, my liege. You're our only hope. And now here we are going to learn how to actually fight in this game. It's a lot different than South Park the Stick of Truth because in Fractured But Whole you don't have PP and unfortunately you don't have PP items. And right now Clyde would be laughing his ass off. But anyway, you do however have knockback. And what knockback does, as you see there, is knock the opponents back to other enemies. You can land a devastating combo with a move and then cause the knockback to hit somebody. There are going to be power-ups to make the knockback even stronger. But unfortunately we don't have the ability to equip them yet. As a matter of fact, by default, if you happen to actually gain some um, achievements through the Xbox One or PS uh, floor version of South Park to stick a truth, you can just simply buy the rewards and come in to South Park Fracture Butt Hole, and you can use them whenever you get the chance to use artifacts. It'll give you a great head start. But for right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're dealing with these guys. And of course, our fart actually has a one, I mean a two turn limit. Meaning I use it one turn, I run out to wait two turns in order to use it again. There's going to be some moves later on in the game that will do that. Now don't get discouraged. Sometimes those moves are actually pretty powerful, and sometimes those moves can be, well, rather lame. But it's okay though. Because all we need to do is just lay on the hurt for these Moorish. Because we're almost done here. All I need to do is just beat them up. And of course I have to pause the game. Because whilst I'm in the middle of beating that one Moorish kid up, the um, DVR actually stopped. 
I thought I paused, but I didn't pause in time. But that's okay. They're done. But we're still in the middle of a battle. Stand aside or die. We're going through that door. You can't. Oh yeah, why not? Because everything in front of here is lava. Oh, dude, no way. All that is lava? Yep, everything from here to here is lava. You can't cross it. Shit! Come on, let's get inside. We can't. They're seeing everything in front of the door is lava. Oh, that's not fair. What do we do, the king? What do you do now? You die. Really? The dragon! Ah, good timing! Now I can actually mention a new thing for the bosses. Yeah, the bosses will always have priority, that's one of the things. Another is the bosses actually have area of effect attacks, which you could actually move out of the way from. Something South Park the Stick of Truth did not do, especially against the Sparrow Prince. But whatever the case, you can actually get rid of one of the Morse goons by knocking it into the dragon. It'll temporarily stun the dragon, and at the same time, the Morse goon from the upper right hand corner of the screen will come in to try to jump in. Now, here's what I mean by area of effect attacks. Those striped red squares mean that they're about to unleash something dangerous. It's gonna be your key to winning. You can even end your turn, you gotta end your turn where those striped squares are, but beware the enemies will actually try to move close to you to get into range. Or they'll just attack, just like that. And it ended up KOing one of their goons. But whatever the case, I'm about to waylay on a dragon with a giant, or I was until that happened. By the way, get used to things like a car interrupting the battle or somebody else interrupting the battle because it's going to happen a lot. It's basically a running gag. So let's lay on the Hammer of Heavenly Rain and be done with it because the dragon's going to go down in one hit. Oh my god, he defeated the dragon! No freaking way! That kid's amazing! And with that, all we need to do is just break the dragon eggs. Well, boxes that color like dragon eggs. And just use the ladder. By the way, you can actually grapple ladders and bring them to footholds. And just simply climb up the roof. Oh, by the way, you missed this quick time event, you die. So make sure you hit the A button. Or triangle. Meet Bard. What happened to the stick of truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies. You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish. Unhand him, you heathens. Release the Bard or you'll have the king to deal with. The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right. And if you don't... Uh, wait. Wait. Whoa. Where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> My name is the Coon. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That, that sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the hundred dollar reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins, there's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert. Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now and you guys are dorks. Wow, that was seriously a dick move, dude. But whatever the case, in case you haven't noticed, there were things that I was picking up that was lying around. Unlike the junk from South Park The Stick of Truth, which is only good to be sold, here, the junk you picked up is actually crafting material. So that's pretty much a good, <clears throat> excuse me, that's pretty much a good thing. And everyone else in the Moorish who thought that, well, they were playing Dungeons and Dragons only to be, well, 
told not to play otherwise, well, that's kind of messed up. Oh, and unlike in the original game, oh, god damn it, Tally. Unlike in the original game, you have an unlimited amount of uh, healing items as opposed to nine. We just got our first coon cake, by the way. Which is a little bit different. Oh, by the way, Fuck. let me show you what happens if you jump the gun in this game. 307's the code, but you get this. Cartman dressed up as Bill Belichick calling you Tom Brady and telling you not to cheat. Because you want to go here in Cartman's room where you can actually find Cartman's uh, diary right over here. Or Cartman's journal, I should say. And Cartman is a rather disturbed individual. For some reason, he is drawing people getting bone in the ass. Yeah, that is pretty much what is being drawn. He drew butters in Kyle's mo- Wow. And then... He has the key code, fuck you mom, which I just use. Now when you go up there to use that key code, it'll be used to um, open up the door, as opposed to like you getting the Bill Belichick uh, message, basically. And by the way, the whole thing about Cartman dressing up as Bill Belichick, that was what happens. That is actually what happened when he got the hell beat out of him by the PC principal. The last thing he saw while he was in a near coma was him dressed up as Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and Roger Katz of the New England Patriots. And here we have Leanne calling the police, talking about lava being in the area. She is so gullible. So let's go on ahead and use that code, shall we? And once we do, we'll see what Coon and friends are up to. Remember, folks, three... Two, okay, wrong with it. It's 307. You, Mom. And seriously, if it wasn't actually Cartman, Leanne would actually find out a compliment. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six! The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers! But where do we start looking? That cat could be anyway. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it! Mosquito, away! Human Kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig! Fast Pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on Fast Pass to get there fast. And with that said, we're going to end this part here as Jimmy uh, crawls up the stairs. But whatever the case, folks, I'll see you guys next time as we talk to the Coon, and hopefully he'll enlist us as a part of the Coon and Friends. Then again, it is Cartman after all. But, whatever the case, folks, it is going to get much more hilarious, I promise you. This game is definitely funny as hell. See you guys next time!